Hello and welcome to the Late Night Retro Halloween Countdown Show starring the Wizard of Video Games. I am the Wizard of Video Games. Star of the Late Night Retro Game Halloween Countdown. <laughs> starring the Wizard of Video Games. I've ruined it again. As you can see, it's Halloween. Countdown. <coughs> And we're going to play some spooky pinball. Remember, the Wizard of Video Games is a board certified magician and retro gaming specialist. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, some activities have occurred, but I think we're ready to go. Is this even working? Not at all! Welcome, Ninja. Please go to sleep. Sleep! Or hang out for a while. Have a drink, and that'll help you. Get down with the sleepness. Do I have... An appropriate sleep sound effect? I don't know. I do not. Here's something to help you fall asleep. Now then, where are we? Whoops. I sure wish all tab would function. That would be very helpful for me to start playing this game of pinball. God damn it, what is wrong with you? Okay, now it did it again. Alright, nope. Jeez. Frankenstein. Frankenstein was designed by John Bork. And, uh, I don't think that I own this game, but apparently I do, so let's get right to it. Starring Kenneth Branagh and Robert De Niro as Frankenstein. <laughs> that screaming is awesome. Man, that is good Frankenstein yelling. I want to hear it again. 
<clears throat> All right. Okay. There we go. We're ready to go. Film soundtrack left. Edgar Winters, Frankenstein, right. Wait a minute. Shelley's Robert De Niro's Frankenstein. Nothing. Features a speaking Frankenstein monster. Or just the monster as it were. I don't know, I like the silent Frankenstein from the old days. I gotta admit that some of these sound effects are super spooky and awesome. Also, the skeleton right here hovering over the uh, plunger. Where's that guy come from? He's pretty cool looking. to this particular game in the wild. So this is actually a first for me. Yes! I don't know why he screamed yes. Geneva, where they, that's where they signed the Frankenstein Accords, right? I got another extra ball? Wow, look at that. And Robert De Niro head twisting around. Looks me out. trying to do here. Here they are. Standard goals. Oh wait, those are just the... Uh, well, how do I see... I thought they had... No, these are the pinball arcade. Stupid achievements. I'm talking about the table achievements, not the standard goals. Oh god. Although, geez, I seem to be getting all the goals. Oh my god, I just threw a brick at Robert De Niro and smashed it in his face. It's alive. 
What I would really like to play is a Bram Stoker's Dracula pinball machine. I'm sure there is one. Damn it. Still, I got a 20 million stoning bonus. Throwing rocks at Robert De Niro. That uh, holds true in the real world, I believe. I forgot that I got a second. The highest score is 3 billion 700 million. I got a second of the ball. I'm gonna need it if I'm gonna get 3 billion. What is Robert De Niro looking at back up there? Can't stop moving his neck. Get a third extra ball? I don't remember that at all. Okay, now we're gonna try to read the skill shot. Throw the switch to collect the value highlighted in display. Frankenstein. I'm trying to read these little instructions. I'll whisper as I get closer to my microphone. What does that say? Complete Frankenstein targets to start flashing feature, shoot, change scene. I can't read this, it's too tiny. Multiball, shoot ramp to light. Back item, back bail, all the North Pole. God damn it. It's impossible to read. The pinball table instructions. If this ball, if this round ever finishes, we can then look it up. North Pole. Some sort of North Pole guns. Who was the lady? In, Rob, in Mary, Kenneth Branagh's Mary Shelley's Robert De Niro's Frankenstein. I'm thinking that it was Mary Steenburgen, but no. Andy McDowell. One of those, one of those brown haired ladies. Sarcophagus combo is worth 20 million. Oh god, and so is throwing two rocks at Robert De Niro. <laughs> wow, some whoa. Oh, here we go. didn't even get into the billions yet. Here we are. Entering the proper initials. Please don't time out on me, you piece of crap. Why does it keep skipping the letter that I want to hit? Um, so, here are the instructions, the instructions, get ready to check out a monster hit, Millie, Mary, Mary, <laughs> good lord, I need a drink. Kenneth Branagh's, Mary Shelley's, Robert De Niro's Frankenstein. <clears throat> Based on the movie released in 1994, the primary goal is to complete eight creation scenes related to the film. And play three different multiball modes, including creation multiball with six balls on the playfield. That's a lot of balls. The playfield features three flippers, two scoops, 
a kickback, and a model of the Frankenstein, which throws locked balls during multi-ball. Nice. Oh, I see now that his hands... I didn't notice earlier. He's got his hands outstretched behind him in a totally weird way. Who can do that? Other than a Frankenstein monster. He really... He's like... I mean... He's kind of like this. Frankenstein! I don't know what's going on with that. But that hurt my neck. So, uh, these instructions will teach you all about this excellent table. I believe you. You can score points by completing the skill shot. Uh, the ball can be launched by engaging the plunger lever or by engaging wolf flipper buttons. The game cycles an electrical arc, ranging from 5 to 20 million. It awards the value hit by the arc. Eight creation scenes. Creations are activated by collecting all the letters in Frankenstein. Frankenstein! The display indicates which letters have been collected. Each of the letters in Frankenstein is represented by a target. Targets are located here. Yeah. 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 Don't go through every letter. Yeah. 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 Hitting an unlit Frankenstein target scores 1,131,310 points. What an odd integer. Hitting a lit Frankenstein target scores 131,310 points. If the R target is lit, shooting it will light the F target. What? That makes no sense. If the T target is lit, or the E are lit, shooting them will light the opposite. Letters in Frankenstein can also be spotted. One letter is spotted each time a ball is shot into the ice cave. When you're going to the North Pole, you collect three letters each shot on that certificate. Oh my god, this is complicated. The lit creation scene can be changed before collecting all the letters in Frankenstein! Stop. The next nine chapters give details on each of these modes <laughs> and the creation. There's nine chapters. Oh my god, there's 418 pages of this. Alright, you guys, get ready. Sit back. We're going to go through 418 pages. <laughs> do it. Spell, hit the letters, spell of Frankenstein. How can we get him to say it again? Frankenstein! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> say it again. What do we need to spell again? 
Oh yeah, it's Frankenstein. Did we figure out who the lead actress of Kenneth Branagh's uh, Mary Shelley's Robert De Niro's Frankenstein is? Elizabeth! Ooh, chattering teeth. God damn it. I just got drained twice in a row. <clears throat> Extra ball at 600 million. There we go. Where am I? I'm not ready. No! Man, this was a bad, a bad round. That's it. Ridiculous. How come my last score showed zero? That was so strange. So, oh. I was about to say, the lighting, right when it restarted, looked really good. And, like, right now, can't turn down the brightness at all, and that sucks, because this room that we're playing in is just way too bright. Hey, is that, uh, Ella Bonham Carter? Is she in this? <laughs> Ooh, 20 mil. Start off the bat. I keep forgetting the extra flippers up there. Nice catch. There we go. Let's see, I need to put the end over there. Possible to get it. Oh, no, I got it. What did I do? this lighting right now as it is but as soon as the game starts the light comes on and ruins it there we go damn it we're so close to spelling Frankenstein Creature is ready. It's Damn. alive. That just. Who am I? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Now I've got the F and the R. No, I don't. An 
Shoot sure jackpot to adjust voltage. We need more power. My ball's stuck. the jackpot. No way it was it. There's two jackpots. Oh god, I just put a needle in his head. Two ball multi ball coming soon. Oh yeah, he's gonna throw him. That was terrible. That was so anticlimactic. He barely like lifted his goofy little arm. Straight up. That's not gonna help me. With a straight drain. Somehow I entered my initials. Now I'm gonna tilt. Beat my previous score by four million. Oh god. This uh, initial entering is going to take the longest of all. <clears throat> All that I once loved lies in a shallow grave. Indeed. Thanks, Kenneth Brana. Let's see, we are going to take... No, let's switch over. We are going to play some Haunted House. Gottlieb, 1982. Haunted House was designed by John Osborne and is widely considered an iconic pinball game with its innovative features, beautiful graphics, and haunting sound. <clears throat> You'd best not play alone. <clears throat> so, I love Pinball Arcade, but I have complaints. There's a weird... I like the physics. Physics are good. They're a lot better than pinball effects uh, as far as like a realistic pinball simulation. But there's just odd inconsistency in the art. Like, let me see if I can get my, my cursor working. And we can see like the Haunted House logo on this bumper. It looks fantastic. But this little section right here is incredibly pixelated. This like little section of the playfield. The back the black glass looks great. And like this little guy right here is like very high resolution and great looking, but then these little, little guys right here look like crap. Some of these graphics are just like they're really low resolution. Which I find odd. This little thing right here. <coughs> But enough commentary, we're here to play pinball. I don't think this was the first double playfield game. Wow, this is a four flipper table. Now that I get into this, I don't think I've played this much at all. Oh god, I'm getting destroyed. This is another table that... Oh god, I'm game over. <laughs> wow. So that's... Uh, hello, First Imperial Agent. Welcome to the Haunted House. Uh, I've never played... Uh, this table in real life. Seems to be fairly rare. I would go in here in Seattle, 
not only do we have a number of barcades, oh, it's the inverted underground playthrough. Not only do we have numerous um, barcades with oh, dozens of pinball machines, we actually have a pinball museum. And every year, uh, we have the Northwest Pinball and Game Room Convention? No, I can't even remember what it's called. The Northwest Pinball Association Convention. Northwest Pinball and Game Room Association show of some sort. They used to do it... Uh, Actually, I haven't gone in a couple years because they moved it from Seattle to Tacoma. And also, I felt like I was getting the same... Although there's like 100... I don't know about 100, but maybe like 50 to 100 pinball machines available. Just all set on free play for the entire weekend. And it's a lot of fun. But... I went like four years in a row. And I felt like I was seeing the exact same tables every single time. So I haven't gone for quite a while, and I never saw one of, uh, a, haunted, a haunted house there. Or a Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. <laughs> but... Uh, this table, it looks pretty awesome. I would definitely like to play it for reals. And I'm amazed that it has both an upstairs and a downstairs. It probably breaks all the time, that's why it's probably it's probably super hard to maintain all this. But, every pinball machine is, really. But this actually, this reminds me of Atari's... The Atari 2600 Haunted House game. It's just like, generic Haunted House, not necessarily... Anything in particular, like... I don't know, Amityville or something like that. Poltergeist. Goodbye. Well, we have improved. That's for certain. <clears throat> oh, we really need a Disneyland Haunted Mansion themed pinball thing. Say hello. First Imperial Agent? I thought I did. But maybe I forgot to. I saw your hello and noted it. I started watching The Haunting of Hill House last night. And I just watched the second episode just before I started. It's a Netflix original haunted house show. And, uh, god, I hate... I turned off the first episode, like, 15 minutes in, because it was bugging me so bad. But then I heard somebody talking about it. In a positive way, or just sort of briefly mentioned it as being good. So I took another stab at it, and it ended up... Um, the ending was very strong, so... 
Wait a minute. What are we doing here? What are my initials? I really did not. The, well, the problem was the very first episode and the very first person who started talking was like a, this lady telling a ghost story and she couldn't have been like more reading off of a script like so obviously that drove me nuts and I said I'm not gonna watch this so yeah I turned it off and then the next night I tried again and uh, like I said it ended up ending that first episode ended strong I just watched the second episode, and uh, it is well done. I'll give it that. Except for that very first character in the first episode who bugged me. But I feel like I can see what it's doing a little bit as far as it scares. Upstairs scores double, and it's so odd because it's flipping in the opposite direction. That's very cool. But it's damn difficult. So, Haunted House, my new favorite pinball table. I'll have to be on the lookout for one. Try to hit up the Northwest Pinball and Game Room show in Tacoma, Washington. If ever you're in the area it's in the summertime there's a pretty cool app called pinball map that will take your location and uh, has a catalog of pinball machines which you can find based on your location it will map them out for you find your nearest uh, pinball hall if that's a word Alright, we're finally going to end with Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Let's take a look at the table. Again, like this little section right here, incredibly pixelated and low res, and then this, the party pool. Thing is like super high res for some reason. I don't understand the inconsistency. And one thing I don't like about <clears throat> the physical objects, like especially these ramps, they look f so fake for some reason. Maybe it's just the dumb transparency that they put on them. But there's like, maybe it's that whole, uh, what do you call it? The Uncanny Valley. Hey, let's party! Like, the closer it gets to real, the more weird it looks. Oh, yeah! And although I prefer... Ah, you son of a bitch. I prefer the physics of Pinball Arcade versus other video pinball games. Sometimes the ball just does unnatural things. And it seems to get way too accelerated at times. 
move way too quickly. I always would have thought, or what I, my ideal would be. The problem is, I think, is that even though the ball itself has physics applied to it, this is the problem of simulating arcade or simulating pinball at all. Oh god, game over it already. Anyway, I think that rather than... I think the entire like physical structure of the table needs to be... have physics applied to it. Maybe that's impossible given the current, you know, uh, <clears throat> technical constraints, but I think that's the only way you can actually get it as real as you want it to be. You know, we have the, the like the individual targets and some elements like the bumpers have a physics applied to them, but I feel like even non-movable things like the like the ramps need to have some sort of physics applied to them just to sort of catch that imperceptible physicality that you get from a real pinball machine. crazy talking out my butt damn it right in the drain even after I got all the targets god damn it this is going quite poorly finger puppets from the from the 80s that you'd find in like uh what are those things called what are those prize um i don't know what we want to call them the coin operated prize box things it's like a chicken it's like an egg game where you get the prize out of the little egg but there's a name for those, and now I can't remember what it is, so it's not even worth talking about. But, the boogeyman up on the top of the table there, dance around. They're like completely stiff mama right there. And they should be those, uh, rubbery little finger puppets that you could get. Oh god, I screwed up. I already entered, I already entered blank for W, so now it's going to be, well, here's what we're going to have to do. W, whoops. Skull. Thirsty for pinballs. Uh. 
Barbecue bonus. Burn him. There we go. Rockin' skulls. Yeah, that, well, this fucking round was a little wash. <clears throat> it's so funny to do the match game at the end of video pinball. Stuck on this right ramp, return ramp. And it tries to go out the, down the drain. I, well, I like the fact that it would possibly do that, but not that it does it every single time.
Oh, Elvira. Elvira. My heart's on fire. Elvira. <coughs> This has been an utter failure. I think we've got one last game left in me. Before it's time to hit the old wizard road. And by that I mean my bed. Stream, just me yelling a swear words every three minutes is good stream. <clears throat> Come on, Elvira, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> oh man, this is one haunted table. Now I've got all this time left in the world. I'm gonna go back to the haunted house because I don't know. I feel like uh, it was giving me a much easier time, at least. It has a much more interesting layout. Oh my god, I'm 
things impossible. show uh, let us return from whence we came thank you for joining me on this episode of oh hang on okay why won't the button be pushed We're going all out here on the late night retro Halloween game show starring the Wizard of Video Games. Let's get that music going. It's our new theme song. Let's enjoy it. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> 